Hi everyone, this is Donna and today I want to share with you a doll I made of Marie Antoinette. I wanted to try this one and I was inspired by my friend Olivia Hernandez. Hi Olivia! Uh, she had gifted me a doll a couple of months back and I loved it and I said I would love to try it at some point in time. Well, the time came because I was shopping at Natasha's Scrapbook Corner and I noticed she had quite a few digis of Marie Antoinette and there was a digi of a doll and right away I remembered Olivia and I looked over to the right hand side of my scrapbook room and she is hanging because she um, um, put her on a string so that I could literally hang her up and enjoy her. So she's hanging on one of my bookshelves and I looked over and I looked at Olivia's and I said, I'm going to try it. It's time to try it. And Natasha was so sweet and she shared with me this digi, which is a doll. When you get the digi, all the parts are on one page. And I didn't think of it. I should have printed one out so that you could see it. But don't worry because I'll put the link below to Natasha's scrapbook corner. And you could check it out, okay? I'm sorry I didn't think to, to print it out. What I did was I printed it out on fabric to have a prettier um, image. But on paper, I'm, un I'm imagining it'll look really nice too. It's just, it's that kind of a digi. And um, it's not a small digi. I just opened it up the size of the page. Uh, an 8 by 11 and all the body parts are on one page so you don't you're not printing out a couple of pages and um you cut it out and after you cut it out i i put it on felt to make it a little thicker for the resistance of the things i was going to put on it and hang it from and so now it has this thicker body part and it makes it so much easier to work with so once i printed it out it was just a matter of cutting it out little fussy cutting and laying it down on felt and cutting it out again and it was ready for use. I, I'm not a doll maker by no means. I've never made a dress. I, I don't know how to sew so this is pretty much a one stitch kind of deal here and a lot of glue. And when I say one stitch it's because I used some gathering along the, the the part of the outer shell so that it would gather a little bit and look really nice. This piece uh, comes actually from my stash from a vintage wedding dress that I purchased a while back. And then this piece that you see here isn't that gorgeous. I mean drop that gorgeous it is. Uh, this I got from Natasha Scrapbook Corner. And if you look at the bottom, look at the detail, and look at these flowers. I mean, it's gorgeous. So I wanted to make the the bottle panel of it. So I didn't go easy either, girls. Look at this. I don't even know how to sew, and then I went into complicated things. But um, I did it, and I feel so excited. I will be making more dolls in the future. And with Digi's as beautiful as this, of course, who's not going to make it? So this piece here, I purchased also in Natasha's. The actual panel of the, of the fabric is this big. This is the wall of the panel. I, I didn't have to cut it or anything. It's actually this big. And so this is one piece straight down. And so let me pick her up. And I don't want to get you dizzy, but I do want you to see all the details, okay? So let's move her a little bit so that you can see her a little bit better. Up here on the top, I put a little crown on her head. And it has a little dangly that moves around in there. I thought it was a nice, nice fix. Isn't that pretty? Nice piece to add on. And then I, I made her a little necklace out of pearls and I put a rhinestone here. Her sleeves are of French lace. And then I put two rhinestones on either side. Look at the detail of the dress on the top. Isn't that gorgeous? And the shine of that applique. I think it's beautiful. Then I finished off her jewelry with a beautiful rhinestone bracelet and ring. Of course, the ring had to be a big stone for a lady like her. And I got this beautiful piece gifted from Natasha. 
from, um, she has um, a four piece um, package where you get two of these and two of the heart shape and I showed them exactly in, in the whole video if you want to see all the pieces. Then I used a flower applique under it and that's where I got all of these beautiful danglies and I just added on some pearls, these pretty pearls. I just added them on to give it that soft, delicate look. There's a giant applique here, under here. I'm not sure if it's coming in. Just to give it that little special look, delicate, very delicate and pretty. The dress is actually uh, a wedding applique piece that's up here and here and it runs across here and I tried to uh, give her the shape of the ladies of that time where the waist is very small and then it opens up. But I didn't make it a uh, giant size, I just made it like appropriate for the size of the body of the doll. Don't ask me how I did that, I have no idea. I can't tell you I know what I was doing because I <laughs> I didn't. I just had fun doing it. And then I put this pretty trim down this side and this side. And I think it goes quite well. Under here, okay, now we're getting personal, ladies. But I think you have to see it so that you could understand. Under here, I have two layers of, of the petticoat of a wedding dress. And um, I put this beautiful lace down here on the bottom. And if you notice, this is the same one I used for her arms, for her sleeves. Okay, and the doll, I'm going to show you so you know how the doll comes. She comes with legs and a dress. I just made her a little slip, but she actually brings her little petticoat. So when you cut her out, you just cut her out carefully, and then I laid her back on lace. And then I put this back piece here because the lace, the fabric is so thin. If not, you'd be seeing the back of her. Although she is dressed in the back because I put up this lace along the back of her body so she's dressed but just for for covering her up properly she is a lady um i just wanted to do that detail so this is the front and then up here i wanted to give a really fancy ball gown kind of look and natasha has this beautiful swirly leaf you see that detail and I put it on the back of her dress as an accent piece. I think it looks gorgeous. Now let's look at the back of the dress. Of course, the back is much simpler. And what did I do? I, I put a little piece, the same lace that I used as the trim. I put a little piece because I do want to hang her. I want to show her off all the time. I'm not going to put her in a drawer or something. So she's going to be hung through here. And this is very discreet and it falls in behind the feathers. So it won't show. Then I put on a wedding applique with some pretty little pearls here. And it's a flower applique. And I put another under it. A bigger piece. And then I used that same trim that I used on the bottom of the dress. I put it here. And her up here on her head, I just used some pretty lace to cover up the back of the body. And so you see, the body, I took it and I put lace over it and made it more firm. And it looks really nice. Let me know what you think of my beautiful doll. I really love her. Really, really enjoyed it. Thank you, Olivia, for inspiring me. And thank you, Natasha, for such a fun digi. But once you actually do it, you're going to love it, thinking that you made your own doll. And, and getting that experience, um, I have a little granddaughter, so I'm thinking I'm going to make her one also. But I want to keep one for me too, so we're going to share. I'll make her one and I'll, and I'll keep one. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think. Take care.